Let's go! Quick pass to Garrett Wilson. Touchdown! What a throw! Aaron Rodgers to Garrett Wilson! We finally have a move to talk about, ladies and gentlemen. At 11.25 p.m., Joe Douglas makes two moves. The New York Jets have signed John Simpson and... In law, baby. Two trenches, two pieces of the team are here. Let's break it all down on a late night show on Jets Media. Woo! Listen, Joe Douglas tends to work at night, okay? Joe Douglas tends to work at night. So let's break it all down. Folks, hit that like button on your way in. I was waiting patiently. I did not want to go live until the news was broke of the Jets making a move. And I was about to go live about John Simpson. And then I see that the Jets made another move, and I had to quickly scramble, make new graphics, make a new thumbnail for you guys. So shout out to the people tuning in live on Instagram. Shout out to the people live tuning in on Twitter. We have breaking, breaking New York Jets news. We got two players to talk about. Joe Douglas has woke up from his nap. Woo! Let me know your guys' thoughts in the chat right now of this news. Let's start off with John Simpson. Because John Simpson is a very intriguing player. You can say that he is, as of right now, the starting left guard for the New York Jets. And that seems like the Jets are going to put Elijah Vera Tucker at right guard. Okay? Now, this guard, the first thing that comes to my mind about him. He's 26 years old. Right? And he is basically another version of Lincoln Tomlinson. But the difference is, with uh, John Simpson, is... He's a penalty machine, but the positive, he can protect the quarterback. The guy does not give up sacks. He is an elite pass protector, but he does have some issues with the penalties. Now, he is durable. He is young. He is a player that is very available, and I think as Jets fans, we all need to realize that is a very important feature that should not be swept under the rug. And we're talking about John Simpson here first. Okay, so we got a big dog up the middle. On that offensive line. Now, getting into Kinlaw. Woo, I love this move. I love this move. I, I'm not going to lie. Kinlaw, I'm a little bit more excited about. I know offensive line is a bigger need, but bro, Kinlaw, former first-round pick, he's coming off a really good season, very productive season with the San Francisco 49ers. Bro, Kinlaw is a dog. Him Next to Quinnen Williams. Now, we had a hole on the defensive tackle position. Al Woods, Quinn Jefferson, and Solomon Thomas. Those three guys are not on the team anymore. We need to make sure that we got um, Kinlaw here. And the issue with Kinlaw has been staying healthy. And if he could stay healthy, bro, this is an absolute piece to the defensive line that we got. Okay, now these are two players on the offensive and defensive line. Definitely get your guys' thoughts of this. Um, I will say this. I know that the Jets were in on a lot of guards in the free agency class. And I know from our perspective, it may look like the Jets weren't trying, but um, I actually have heard some intriguing things that the Jets were going after certain players, but other teams were able to land them, and the Jets end up getting John Simpson. Because the reality is, if the Jets wanted like their number one player in free agency, that's not how it works. It takes two to tango. They had to figure out the right finances, and John Simpson is a guy that is a player that the Jets settled on, okay? Now, I definitely feel like this is a guy that can come on and be a provided, impactful player. He is a guy that is very well-known at protecting the quarterback at a high level in Simpson. He's a guy who played every game for the Baltimore Ravens, and let's be honest, the Baltimore Ravens were the best team in the AFC this past year. Well, I mean, they're the number one seed. They weren't the best team. That's the Kansas City Chiefs, I guess. But he was part of a uh, really good offensive line for Baltimore, but it does feel like that the Jets were not able to land their guy at guard. I'm just being honest with you guys. That's what it feels like. But that's okay. 
because I think that Simpson is going to be able to be an immediate impact. I think he's better than Lincoln Tomlinson right away. I think he's better than Lincoln Tomlinson. Now, this isn't a home run. This isn't a guy that is going to break the bank. But the reality is, let's do it. Uh-oh, TD Finns talks in the chat. The Jets are better than us. Until we trade for CJ Mosley, then it's Super Bowl time, baby. Good night. TD Finns talk has been delusional with his takes that the Jets are going to uh, give the Dolphins, just hand him CJ Mosley. I don't know where he got that idea. But not the case. Not the case. So basically... We replaced Lincoln Tomlinson with John Simpson. That's the move. We cut Lincoln Tomlinson, shed $18 million, and that's a perfect timing. And it works out perfectly for the books if you really think about it because we basically took Lincoln Tomlinson's contract and handed it over to Kinlaw. I mean, to Simpson, excuse me. So obviously, we look at the offensive line right now. The tackle position still is a gigantic hole, right? We don't have a left or right tackle. I think as we stand right now, we have the starting interior offensive line set. It's going to be Simpson at left guard, Tipman at center, AVT at right guard, and then left tackle, right tackle is open for grabs. So this is good for the depth. This is a good signing. I like the contract. And if you can't get the big fish, if you can't get the guys, that's really what it's going to come down to. Okay, that's what it's going to come down to. And the Jets were able to get their guy in John Simpson. Okay. Now, I do know that the Jets were very interested in Damian Lewis. And he signed a four-year deal for $53 million for $13 million per year with the Carolina Panthers. So I can tell you guys this. The Jets were all in on Damian Lewis, but then Damian Lewis decided to go to the Panthers, so the Jets quickly pivoted, and they were able to land their guy, John Simpson. So... That is what I know. I've been talking to some people that I trust with that information. Uh, so take that as you will. I'm not claiming to have sources or anything like that, but I have been talking to people that give me some good insight about what is going on behind closed doors, and that's what I can got, That's what I can tell you, that they were really in on a certain player, and John Simpson is the guy that they bring in. Now, I do feel like David Bakhtiari is going to be the next man up. I do think that David Bakhtiari is the next man up for the New York Jets. If that one feels inevitable. That one feels absolutely inevitable, bro. You kidding me? TJ with the $20 super chat. Thank you so much for this super chat, my friend. Everyone give TJ some dodo hype in the chat. It's 11.30 p.m. And we got TJ sending some generosity here. At this point, do you see AVT being a tackle or a guard? I know we have a guard now, but the rest of the guard market is pretty depleted. So it might make more sense to have AVT at guard and try to find a tackle we can afford. Thank you so much for the generous super chat, TJ. Very, very appreciate you. Um, I think that... AVT should be a guard in my eyes. As of right now, you can say he could be a tackle because we don't have a tackle. But in my eyes, you sign David Bakhtiari, you draft the tackle at 10, and then you keep AVT at guard where he's the best. That's my that's my take. I agree with you, TJ. I see him being a guard. I see them being I see AVT being a guard as well. So we are in lockstep, my man. Me and TJ are in lockstep. Let's go. Woo! Are there other moves? Oh, I thought there was some other breaking news. So John Simpson just tweeted, God is good, baby. Got to shoot him a follow on Twitter. All right, shout out to TJ again for the $20 super chat. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the chat of this move. This is the first of many. There's a lot of moves to come. A lot of moves to come, baby. A lot of moves to come. Now we got two players. Brand new to the Jets. Let's go. Appreciate it. Um, I think that, Richie, what happened to Makai Becton? He is a free agent. He can sign with anybody. I don't think the Jets are going to bring him back, though. Um, I think this is good depth. Honestly, this is solid moves. We know that the New York Jets are looking in the, um, the, how do you say this? The reality is I'm noticing that some players are picking other teams over the Jets. I'm just being honest with you guys. I based, based on the things I'm hearing. 
based of the things I'm hearing, like, for example, um, Damian Lewis, he signed with the Carolina Panthers. The Jets really wanted him. He chose the Panthers over the Jets. So the Jets quickly pivoted and signed John Simpson. So I like John Simpson, but that's the reality of the situation, okay? So the Jets and the Panthers were in a bidding war. And now we got this news. The Jets get John Simpson. So definitely some interesting stuff. The one thing about John Simpson that we all need to know about is that he is a penalty machine. But he is a dominant force in the trenches at protecting the quarterback. And what do we need the most? A offensive line to protect Aaron Rodgers. So I like the idea of bringing in a guy who knows how to protect the quarterback. That's what he's known for. If you look at the positives of Simpson, is he is excellent in pass protection. You can, you can sign me up for that. He's also 26 years old, which means he's like at that prime age where he can get better. He can get better. So... Absolutely like this move. I don't love it, but the Javon Kinlaw move, I love. I absolutely love the Kinlaw move because he has so much untapped potential. And the one thing we know about the New York Jets is that they know how to develop and know how to exploit and make sure they get the best out of their defensive players, bro. And Kinlaw is a guy that is coming off a really good season. And I know a lot of um, 49ers fans wanted to bring him back. They wanted to bring back Kinlaw, but they weren't able to. And in a deep defensive line rotation, I think that he's going to be a dog with the Jets. He's going to fill in for Sol uh, Solomon Thomas. I really would hope the Jets still bring back Solomon Thomas, by the way. I would love for them to bring back Solomon Thomas. Still, to this day. So, yeah. So, I'm looking at um, John Simpson's PFF right now. He allowed one sack last year, which is great, but he had 11 penalties. 11, which is why his grade is so poor, right? He played 1,118 snaps at left guard, okay? In his past, he had 644 pass blocking snaps and had 11 penalties, one sack allowed, and five hits and 26 pressures. So he only gave it up one sack. And the reason why his grade is so low, I think, is the penalties. For sure. That's definitely the reason why the grade is really low. For John Simpson. Former fourth-round pick out of Clemson to the Raiders. So this is interesting. This isn't... John Simpson's not a move where Jets fans should be like... Oh my God, we got our franchise changing guard of the offensive line. That's not how I'm feeling, but this is definitely, you know, a piece that we need. It's a hole to fill. It's a, it's a body, right? It's a body to fill in. I'm just a little uh, pissed to hear that the Jets are getting outbidded. That, that's the one thing I don't like to hear. But hey, the Jets got their new offensive lineman. And DJ Reed is pumped up to get their, his uh, Javon Kinlaw back in the building. Let's talk about Javon Kinlaw real quick because I feel like this is a guy who I, I sound like Colin, uh, Chris Collins work. Now, here's a guy. Here's a guy. <laughs> oh, man. Javon Kinlaw also has a good reputation with the media, by the way, <laughs> in terms of going after them. So his issue, Javon Kinlaw, is injuries. Can he stay healthy? He was a first-round pick in, back in 2020, bro. The, six, the, 70, uh, the uh, 49ers drafted him with the 14th overall pick. Okay? So you saw what the Jets did with Solomon Thomas, former first-round pick. They turned him into a beast. Now, he wasn't this game-changing, game-wrecking ball, Solly. We didn't need him to be. He played perfectly in his role. You look at... Kinlaw's career, he's coming off a fully healthy season last year. Played all 17 games, had 25 total tackles, three and a half sacks. That's exactly what we expect from him. That's exactly what um, Solomon Thomas brought, if we're being honest with ourselves. A former first-round pick. A lot, of, uh, a lot of San Francisco 49ers fans were hoping to bring him back, but they were unable to pay him. I don't even know the contract. 
I don't even know the contract of it. I know it's one year. Do you guys know the uh, Kinlaw contract yet? Was that was that released? Guys, don't forget to hit that like button on your way into the show. I greatly, greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. It's a late night show, baby. It's a late night show. And I do appreciate you guys tuning in, man. It's been a lot of fun um, going live all day long. It's been a long day. Let me just be honest with you guys. It's been a long day for Jets fans. Okay? Every Jets fan can relate. We were sitting here waiting and waiting for some news to just break, bro. All day long, we're thinking to ourselves, when are the Jets going to make a move? Wait, breaking news, Tyrod? Oh, shit. Tyrod Taylor, our brand new backup quarterback. Wow. Tyrod Taylor's a Jet. Breaking news. Tyrod Taylor's a Jet. Breaking news. Tyrod Taylor's a jet. Wow. I like it. I like it. Okay. We got our backup. We got our backup. We got our backup, folks. Wow. Joe Douglas working at night. Holy. I got to tweet this out. Got to tweet this out. Then we'll react to, we'll, we will react to it together. Oh my gosh, Tyrod Taylor to the Jets. Tweeting it out real quick, folks. Tweeting it out real quick, and then we're going to get to you guys in the chat because I got to ask Twitter their thoughts. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I didn't see that coming. I'm down for it, though. I'm down for it. Welcome to the Jets, Tyrod. Bang. Tyrod Taylor. The Jets get their backup quarterback. Tom Polisario breaks the news. I like it. That is the exact... I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Things are going crazy right now. <laughs> Things are going crazy right now, bro. Oh, my gosh. This is the exact type of backup quarterback you would want. Oh, my God. All right. I really had a chance to kind of materialize this. Here, I'm going to make a I'm going to make a TikTok. I'm going to I'm going to make a TikTok for you guys live. You guys can watch me do it. Because this deserves, this deserves, oh my God, what is this? Now, let me just say this. I'm going to say this straight up. I hope Tyrod Taylor does not touch the field this year. I hope Tyrod Taylor does not touch the field this year. And I mean that just because we need Aaron Rodgers healthy. But I do have confidence in Tyrod Taylor to step in if he needs to. I absolutely do have confidence in that. All right, I'm making uh, a TikTok real quick. You guys can watch me do it. Tyrod Taylor's a Jet. Breaking New York Jets news. The Jets are bringing in Tyrod Taylor to be the backup behind Aaron Rodgers. Wow. We're live on YouTube right now on Jets Media reacting to this news. And this came at a late night signing. Joe Douglas bringing in Tyrod Taylor. I love this move. I think that this is the perfect veteran backup we need to have insurance behind Aaron Rodgers. The one thing the New York Jets have learned last year is that you need to have a quarterback backing up Aaron Rodgers in case he goes down. Now, I think we can all agree that we hope Tyrod Taylor does not see the field this year because that means Aaron Rodgers is healthy, or if he does see the field, it's because we're winning games. But this is really good news for the New York Jets. I absolutely love Tyrod Taylor. I'm pretty sure in his career, he's like 28 and 28. Exactly what you want to see from a backup quarterback. Welcome to the New York Jets, Tyrod Taylor. I love this move. Sound off in the comments. What's your thoughts? All right, you guys watch me just make a TikTok. I'm kind of new to the TikTok world, by the way. I am new to the TikTok world, so bear with me here. Woo! Uh, guys, let me know if there's any other news because you guys in the chat low-key broke that news to me. Um, I didn't see that one. I did not see that one coming. 
you guys are in the chat were like Tyrod Taylor to the Jets, Tyrod Taylor to the Jets, Tyrod Taylor to the Jets. I'm like, what are you talking about? So thank you for breaking that news to me. Oh my gosh. Goodbye, Zach Wilson. Two-year deal. Guys, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I got to change the outlook. I got to change the overlay of all this. Oh my God, what's, what is going on here? What is going on here? Guys, let me know right now in the chat. How are you feeling? All right, let's post this all over the place. Tyrod Taylor. So Joe Douglas decided to just wake up. All right, Joey D. I see you, Tyrod. I see you, Tyrod Taylor. Now, Tyrod is a guy... That I love. Seems like the chat loves Tyrod Taylor. Is there anybody that doesn't like the Tyrod Taylor signing? Making a, a little tweet right here. Oh, I got to catch my breath. I'm, I'm low-key like spinning right now. I'm like, oh. My gosh. Oh, my gosh. I love this. I love this. I love what's going on. I love what's going on. I will tell you that, guys, this. It's a little stressful to do all this social media stuff while I'm live to over thousands of people watching right now. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys tuning in. Just when, If you see me on my phone, just know I'm, I'm working right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm basically working right now. I'm not texting. I'm not doing weird shit. I'm making a TikTok. I'm making tweets. I'm going on Instagram. I'm doing what I do. I'm working. What are your thoughts of this move? Multitasking, baby. Multitasking. 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 Appreciate you guys tuning in, guys, to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, baby. The Jets have made three signings in a span of a, an hour. A span of an hour, bro. What the heck? Can you imagine? All right. Boom. Boom. Send. Post. Joe Douglas. He doesn't sleep. Next up is who? Wide receiver, baby. Wide receiver's next. Wide receiver's next. Calvin Ridley, T. Higgins. Who, what's next? Chat, what are we thinking right now? I feel like the Jets fans are happy right now. Right? This should be a this should be a consensus happy thing. How do I change the title of the video? Do I even change it? I think I should. Should I, should I live change the thumbnail and everything? Because we're reacting to it all right now, bro. I got to take a sip of water, bro. I'm, I'm like... <laughs> everything happens so fast. I'm not complaining. I ain't complaining, bro. Welcome to the Jets, Tyrod. If you look at the... Like, honestly, Jacoby Brissett going to the New England kind of scared me. But hey, we got our guy. We got our guy. I'm trying to post this everywhere. Oh my gosh. This is crazy stuff. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got some breaking news all over the place right now, baby. The Jets are going nuclear. The Jets are going nuclear. We got 583 people live watching right now, guys. Don't forget, hit the like button right now for your boy. And subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to Jets Media, we're getting really close to the big goal of the channel, which is 22,000 subscribers. If you want to be a really good friend and help your boy out, and you're not already subscribed to Jets Media, definitely consider subscribing to your boy right freaking now if you're new to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that, folks. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. 
Shout out to everybody in the chat, baby. We got three signings to break down. Three signings. The New York Jets signed John Simpson. The New York Jets signed Javon Kinlaw. And the New York Jets have signed Tyrod Taylor. I got to update the graphics right now. I get it. We're cooking, okay? And I feel like there's going to be another signing any second. There's going to be another signing right now. I got over 2,000 people on Twitter right now. Shout out to the... Salute to the chat on X. Salute to the people on Twitter. We got over 2,000 people watching on Twitter. I don't even know if that's real numbers, but okay. Thank you guys so much. My gosh, things are going crazy. I'm trying to multitask and post all these different things while I'm live with you guys at the same time. It's very stressful, but I'm not complaining, baby. All right, should I make a new thumbnail? I think I might have to. How do I How do I do it all this at the same time? Wonder why? Cuz I'm a dog. I'm built like that. <laughs> this is what we're made to do, baby. Shout out to the chat. Who's next? Who's ready? Joe Douglas is the dark knight. <laughs> what do we think of Kinlaw? I love the Kinlaw move, bro. That low key's my favorite move out of all of these so far. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to I'm just kidding. Tyrod Taylor's probably my favorite. But, bro, we got so many people live on Twitter. So many people live on YouTube. Shout out to everybody tuning in. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, folks. Right now, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new, folks. We're trying to get to 22,000 subscribers. If we can hit that tonight, that'd be crazy. Oh, my gosh. can't believe this. This is crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Tyrod Taylor, baby. Now we wait for Zach Wilson to be traded. Let me know in the chat. Who do you want next? Who do you want next? I know that. The one thing I know about Jets fans is we're never satisfied. All right. We got three signings. Okay. Who's next? Who's next? I'm updating what you guys see on the screen. We needed this, baby. Jets fans needed this after a slow, slow burn of a day. The Jets make moves. The Jets make moves. All right, we're slowly getting there. Here, I'm going to show you guys a little behind the scenes of what we got cooking up. Look at the thumbnail we're cooking. Look at the thumbnail we're cooking. You guys can see it. This is what we're cooking up. That, that's the thumbnail. We're cooking it up. We added Tyrod. I think that's going to be... That's good for now, okay? Yeah, that's good for now. We'll, we'll, uh... It'll do it good. You guys get the idea. I don't need to go crazy with the graphics, do I? You guys get it. You guys get it. Update it. New York Jets sign. Tyrod Taylor. Changing the title. Woo! We're, we're working overnight tonight, boys and girls. We're working overnight tonight. We're working overnight tonight. Do we do we go? When are we gonna end this show? I don't think we ever are. Maybe 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 there's gonna be news breaking as uh I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. What? I can't change the Come on. Uh, I know what I gotta do. YouTube, you better make me allow me to change the title of the video. Come on, YouTube. I know you allow me to. And let me change the thumbnail. I know you can do it. All right, now we got it. Now we got it. We're changing it, and then we're going to get deeper into my thoughts of it. Boom, it's done. Refresh the title. It's done. Woo! All right. Now the title is updated. Sheesh. That was a lot. That was stressful. That was stressful. Overtime, baby. Overtime. Shout out to Ayo Miggy in the chat. Appreciate you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Bro, is this one heck of a night? I mean, Joe Douglas was making no moves all day, and then he makes this move tonight. All right. You can sign me up for it. Let's break it down. Shout out to Ayo Miggy for the $2 super chat. I appreciate it. Ali, hey, Richie, I want to sleep. Me too, bro. I'm so tired. 
I ain't gonna lie, but we are live. Shout out to my guy, Lee. Hope you're doing well, brother. Let's connect, bro. Let's connect. Is Simpson any good? The positive? Oh, wait, guys. I forgot I gotta update the graphics, too. What you guys are looking at? You guys can't look at this anymore. We gotta add Tyron. We gotta add Tyron to the presentation. What am I doing? Where's Tyrod at? People are like, Richie, where's Tyrod at in your graphics? Guess what? Let's see. Record time. How fast will it take me to add Tyrod Taylor? How, how long do you guys think it's going to take? How long do you think you're going to see a picture of Tyrod Taylor appear on your screen? Can I get it to you in record-breaking time? Let's find out. Boom. 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 Come on, baby. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. Oh, my gosh. We got to get Tyrod on the screen, bro. He's the newest member of the New York Jets, and I love it. I'm a fan. Bro, the text is so tiny, it looks kind of off. I ain't going to lie. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my graphics. I know. Sometimes it's not perfect, but it is what it is. How much longer do I got? How much time do I got left until people are going to start leaving my stream? You guys aren't leaving me. I won't allow it to happen. I won't allow it to happen. How much time you guys think is left until you're going to see Tyrod Taylor pop up on the screen? Boom! There he is. Boom. There he is. All right. Jet sign Tyrod Taylor, John Simpson, and Javon Kinlaw. There it is. That's the updated graphics. Oh, that was a lot. That was a lot for your boy. I'm not complaining, though, because I enjoy this work. Let's go. You got, I got to pay attention to every little detail for you guys. Let's go. Shout out to the chat, baby. Mr. Forte. Sorry, man. I'm just seeing this now. I'm feeling better now, Richie. Let's go, Mr. Forte. I'm feeling a little bit better, too. I'm feeling a little bit better, too, Mr. Forte. Sorry, I'm just seeing this now. I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you tuning into the channel. I appreciate the generous super chats. We got a lot of fun. I don't know what the contract is yet. I mean, according to... Bro, we got over 2,000 people watching live on Twitter. And six over 600 people live watching on YouTube. Bro, hit that subscribe button for your boy. Let's go. Shout out to Mr. Forte one last time for the super chat, my friend. And TJ, thank you again for the $20. Very generous. Very, ge very, very, very generous, bro. Man, we are cooking tonight, Jets fans. We are cooking tonight. Let's go. Oh. What's next? I ain't I ain't done. We ain't ready. We ain't done tonight. Are we Joe Douglas? I'm just we're just getting started. What's the YouTube name? So the YouTube name is Jets Media. Look up Jets Media and you'll see it pop right up. Jets Media. Shout out. Job ain't finished. Let's go. Job's not finished. You know that. You know the job's not finished. We're just getting started, folks. We're just getting started. And I absolutely adore it. You know what's next, right? You know what's next. You know what's next. Let's go. Javon Kinlaw, John Simpson, and our boy Tyrod. Okay, Tyrod. Okay. Let's go, baby. Woo! What do you guys want next? Richie, what time does the T. Higgins news drop? I wish I had a crystal ball. Can we offer enough for Higgins? Yeah, we can. We can 100% offer enough for Higgins. 100%. The question is, are the Jets willing to do it? That's the real question. Are the Jets willing to do it? That's the real question. Are the Jets willing to pay the price of bringing in a top tier, because that's what Jets fans want, for being honest with themselves. If there's one thing that Jets fans want the most, I think we can all agree, it's a big-time wide receiver. 
I think the Jets are going to sign David Bakhtiari and then go after a big-name wide receiver. Our offensive line just got better. Our defensive line just got better. And we got a backup quarterback. The backup quarterback's a need, bro. For people laughing at Jets fans to be happy, bro. Do you see what we went through last year? Come on now. Come on. Let's be real. Let's be real. Now, folks, I do want to announce that on BetUS Sportsbook, which is the official sportsbook sponsor of the channel, here are the AFC East odds, okay? The Jets at plus 285, I think, is going to go up. Or down, rather. I like these odds. I think this is the year, potentially. If you like the New York Jets to win the AFC East at plus 285 odds, definitely consider going on BetUS Sportsbook by clicking the link in the top of the chat to sign up today. Not only that, they got a lot of future bets and a lot of fun, fun stuff cooking up on BetUS Sportsbook. You can bet on the NFL Draft. You can bet on who's going to win the, the conference. You can bet on who's going to win the Super Bowl next year. You can bet on a lot of fun things over there on BetUS Sportsbook. Definitely go check them out. You can bet on who's going to get drafted first, who's the non-quarterback that's going to get drafted. You can even bet on the Mr. Irrelevance player position. Guess what? The Jets own that pick. You can bet which position the Jets going to draft at Mr. Irrelevant. Okay? I find that hilarious. The Jets getting a linebacker at plus 800. I could see them going after a tight end at plus 1200 for a uh, bang for your buck. Definitely consider signing up for BetUS Sportsbook, folks. Receive a 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,500. Shout out to BetUS for being the official sportsbook sponsor of Jets Media. BetUS, America's favorite sports book, where you can bet on everything anytime. Sportsbook, live betting, and casino. To celebrate 30 years in business, we have the best bonuses in the industry. Get 125% sign up bonus and up to 30 risk free bets. So, what are you waiting for? Join now. BetUS, where the game begins. Where the game begins. Another shout out to BetUS, baby. We love you. BetUS. Mike the Stack Guy, my guy, baby. Looks like Box Simpson, Tipman, ABT, Fuaga. I kind of like it. We need depth. That's for sure. But I like it. What do you guys think of Mike's hypothetical offensive line for the New York Jets? Right now. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts of the hypothetical offensive line that our boy just laid out perfectly? I like it. Thank you for the super chat, bro. Give me Talisi Fuwaga, bro. Richie, what are your next two moves? I like the New York Jets to go after um, another offensive lineman, maybe even a safety, dare I say. Obviously, we need a wide receiver. Now, is it going to be Calvin Ridley? Is it going to be T. Higgins? We shall see, bro. Draft sauce again. That That's what we should do. Now, when it comes to the 10th overall pick, it seems like a lot of people want the New York Jets to go after offensive tackle, I think that the Jets will be going after an offensive tackle. I think that Bakhtiari is inevitably a Jet. I mean, did you guys see what he posted, bro? Did you guys see what he posted? David Bakhtiari, I mean, the, he's a Jet. He's a Jet. I mean, give me a break. It's like, he's a Jet. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button. We got just under 300 likes. Let's get to way over 300 likes. We're live late. It's past midnight, bro. It's past midnight. Let's go. We ain't stopping anytime soon either. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Vibes are immaculate, boys and girls. Oh my God. Things are out of control. Why do I have a feeling that a move is about to be broken again? Or do they stop posting news after midnight to spare people like myself? You know what I mean? Does anybody have the Tyrod Taylor compensation, the, the contract? Because that's definitely interesting. That's what I'm waiting for. Jets made it clear last season that they wanted to add an experienced backup quarterback. They got one in Tyrod Taylor, who has 58 career starts. Honestly, I think the Jets can win games with Tyrod. I really do. I definitely think that the Jets can win with Tyrod Taylor.
But he's the backup. The goal is we don't freaking want him to be playing. The goal for a backup quarterback is to not play. He was a solid backup, bro. He was a solid backup. Keep Becton playing at guard. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. That's not happening. It's a two-year deal, but I don't know. I, I want to know the money. I want to know the money. Calvin Ridley plus Tyron or Bakhtiari, please, JD. That would be huge. Give me Calvin Ridley and then a left tackle, and let's go into the NFL draft. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Yeah. Can I get a Oh, yeah, in the chat, baby. I'm pumped right now. Because we were starving, bro. Starving for news all day. We were patient. We were waiting. Guys, we're so close to 300 likes. So close to 300 likes. Let's get it going. And also, hit that subscribe button if you're new, baby. We got breaking news. And we're live, breaking it down. It better not be Fant. We're not getting Fant, bro. We're not cutting Mosley. Stop that, Anthony. Bad, Anthony. Bad. Any Jets fan that says, cut Mosley, I cannot get behind that. No. Bad. Oh, my gosh. Tyron Smith or David Bakhtiari? Two veterans that have injury problems. D. Michi. Thank you for the super chat, my man. Not going to guarantee a Super Bowl, but we definitely go into the playoffs, and the Finns are getting way worse. Woo! He's coming here talking some smack. We hit over 300 likes. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to Dimichi, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate my guy. Shout out to Dimichi in the chat right now. Gary Jets Forever 80. Oh, yeah. Can I get a oh, yeah in the chat right now? The vibes are immaculate right now. Are you kidding me? Look at this. This is great. What is going on? The vibes are so high. Thank you for the super chat. You don't even need to say anything. Glenn is saying that it would cost the Jets a first-round pick to get Ridley and Higgins. Calvin Ridley is a free agent, so they do not have to give up any draft compensation for him. And T. Higgins, I think, could be first-round, but I don't think it'll be first-round because the, the Bengals don't have any leverage. Right? The Bengals don't have any leverage. So maybe a second round next year. But can I get some more Dono hype in the chat from my man, Gary and D. Michi? Thank you so much. Let's go, baby. We are record-breaking show tonight. It's a record-breaking show tonight because Jets fans deserve it. It's a marathon. You're going to have to pull me out of this chair to end this show. What sleep? Who needs sleep? No one. We don't need sleep. Oh, my gosh. Making a tweet right now to tell people to pull it. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, that's the energy. That's the energy. That's the energy, baby. Ha-ha! <laughs> Can we match the energy in the chat, though? Let's go! We got more Super Chats, bro. Oh, man! Dino's next! Richie, let's go. Joe Douglas is on fire. It's time for a tackle. That's what I'm talking about, Dino. Bang! Appreciate you, bro. 
Let's go. This is the energy. You see the energy that Dino brings? You see the energy? Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Dino, for the $5. We're not done. Deion Dawkins pretended to be cut right after the Bills. Just cut a bunch of players. It's such a D-bag thing to do. The Jets do it for social media. That's so true. Great freaking point. Because I went after Deion Dawkins when he said that nonsense on my show. And bruh. This is such a good point. He went on social media and literally trolled people like a like a like a 14 year old kid. Like, like you're getting released. Then he gets extended. Thank you for this ammunition. Because I'm going after him. Thank you so much for the super chat, bro. Really do mean a lot. Lassell, I need that rookie quarterback through the late round still. I think that's still a possibility. I think the path for the Jets to draft the quarterback in the mid rounds and for the Jets to be able to go after a. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's just tough because do the Jets want to go into the season with three quarterbacks? That's the question, bro. That's the question. Lassell, thank you for the $5, brother. Boba Jet, last time I slept, I slept, I missed all. All of Order 66. <laughs> Only Star Wars fans will get this one, Boba Jet, and that's okay. It's That's a joke between me and you. Execute Order 66. All right, that's enough of my nerd Star Wars to come out. Boba Jet, thank you for the super chat, though. Appreciate that. Let's F and go, Richie. You deserve all of this, man. Hey, this isn't about me right now. This is about the New York Jets. This has nothing to do with me, but I appreciate that, bro. I DM them that, as you should. Let them know. Clown. Deion Dawkins. The guy went crying like, oh, the Jets just do it for the Instagram posts. Bro, you literally just clap. That, that man's the most hypocritical thing I've ever seen. Just saying. But we move. <laughs> we move. <laughs> we move. Bang. Let's go. Do we have anybody watching on Instagram right now? We do. Shout out to my Instagram people. I forgot. The Instagram chat is separate from the uh, other chat, so I got to always tune in. Shout out to Colin. Shout out to M Baby, And a receiver in the second round. See you. Shout out to my people live on Instagram. I got to start making sure I look at the Instagram chat. Oh, wow. Wait. I got to scroll all the way down. Shout out to Jacob tuning in all day, every day. We got people live on Instagram, bro. Shout out. Absolutely love the Kinlaw pickup. I low-key love the Kinlaw of the pickup the most. I ain't gonna lie. I would get some Tyrod highlights in the corner, but then I'll get flagged. The NFL will kill me. The NFL will come for me. It's really hard to get away with highlights. I'll tell you now. Is there more breaking news? All right. Connor Hughes says, Tyron Smith and Calvin Ridley not signing on the opening day of legal tampering period surprised me. Thought the market for both would be robust enough to get something done. This could bring the Jets back in on both. Again, Joe Douglas isn't uninterested, just has to be at his number. Okay, Connor. This is the type of stuff we want to see from you, Connor. Way to do your work. This is the latest. This is the latest, baby. Go get me freaking Calvin Ridley to pair up with Garrett Wilson and we're moving. Go get me it. Yes, sir. Yeah. What do you guys think of this? Let's go, baby. All right, Connor, speak to me nice, baby. Give me Calvin. Just saying. Hey, Jimmy. Whoa, Mr. Jimmy from Seattle. This is too generous of you, my friend. This is just to show love to you for the content you put out on my squads for the Knicks and the Jets, baby. See you on Jets Media Day. Salute to Jimmy. Jimmy, my guy, follows me on Jets Media, follows me on Knicks Media. This is my guy right here. 
Jimmy, I cannot wait to meet you in person at Jets Media Day this year. Let's freaking go. I hope to see all you guys at Jets Media Day this year. Hopefully I have enough tickets. I don't know how many tickets I'll be able to have, but that's a situation we'll have to figure out in May. Stay tuned for Jets Media Day tickets. Um, that will be announced in May when the schedule gets released. I don't even know what game it is yet. I got to figure that out, but I'm excited for it. The third Jets Media Day this year, 2024. It's going to be exciting, and we're going to see Aaron Rodgers this year because last year, everybody... Ball tickets for Jets media day with the whole notion of to go watch Aaron Rodgers play. And nobody got to see him play because it was week three against the Patriots. So hopefully I'll, uh, we'll be sitting there and partying on the field on Jets media day. If you don't know what Jets media day is, it's an annual event that I throw every year at a Jets game. If you're looking to go to a Jets game or say you're like Jimmy and you're from Seattle and you want to go to a Jets game and you're thinking of a game, I throw an event at a Jets game once a year and it's basically, I bring everybody together. We have an all-inclusive tailgate. We party together, courtesy of Gotham City crew, all-inclusive food, DJ, alcohol. I will be uh, live at the tailgate before the show, that uh, before the game, you guys will be able to be part of. You get a Jets Media Day custom-made t-shirt. You also get, and this is all just from your ticket that you purchase. All this comes in one package. And then you get to sit with me and everybody a part of the event. And then the best part about the event is we all get to go on the field. We all get to party on MetLife's turf. We get to see how bad the synthetic turf is, <laughs> but all jokes aside, it's a great time. We did it two years in a row. We're going on year number three, and I'm really excited to do bigger and better things this year. I got a lot of fun things planned, so shout out to Jimmy. Shout out to Jimmy. LaSalle with the $2. What, what is the name of the membership about, my guy? Um, I don't know. What does it say, LaSalle? Whatever it says, you get. That's what it says. Whatever it says, you get. Whatever it says you get. Let me know what you want. You get it from me, Lucille. I got you. All right. Richie, I met you last year. It was great. Jimmy, it was great to meet you, bro. I love meeting you guys. That's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. Are Bakhtiari and Tyron Smith the only tackle options left? No, but I think it's the realistic options for the Jets show. It's the realistic options for the Jets. Sure. The Jets are making moves, bro. We they, Joe Douglas slept all day just for us to be able to get our guys now. Let's go, baby. Draft number one receiver, then O-line, 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 offensive line, offensive line, big boys, big boys, protect Aaron Rodgers, protect Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> That's what I read. JD woke up from his nap. What's good, Richie? Nice to see you up. The dedication is real. Hey, we, we here together, folks. We are here together. I appreciate you guys. How do you get tickets for Jets Media Day? So stay tuned. Definitely, I highly recommend following me on social media because that's where you'll get the most uh, up-to-date news. Follow me at NYJets underscore media on Instagram or Twitter, or I will also be getting emails. Um, You know what? Maybe we can start this now, honestly, because I get, it, I get an email list. That's really how it is. I get an email list. I get all the emails that for people that are interested, and then I send a mass email out, and then you'll get updates for the ticket. So I'm going to put my email in the chat right now. Um, and if you guys are interested in Jets Media, just like my friend uh, right here is, here's my email, RichieMalore98 at Gmail, and just say, hey, interested in Jets Media Day, uh, put my name down on the list, and then I'll put your name on the priority list. So if you're interested in Jets Media Day updates, send me an email here. Let me know uh, that you're interested, and then I'll put your email so you'll be on the email list because it's hard to really tell you guys about the information and the details because I don't have it yet. It doesn't come out till May. Kangolowski! He just gifted 20 memberships. Hey, yo! Whoa, look at these guys. Kangolowski! My guy! Let's go! Kangolowski! Just gifted 20 memberships to Kay, Jacob, Spin, Damon, Brayden, Jaden, Freedom Face... Lease, Chris, Big T, Charlie, 0. 0.5.
White Sox Jet. Oh my gosh, there's so many people, I can't even name them all. King Lowski, thank you so much for gifting the people 20 memberships. Now, guys, if you are a new member, look what you can do in the chat. You have all of these emojis to play with. Look at all the emojis you can play with. And I positioned it perfectly. Look at that. All the emojis I picked are definitely returning as Jets next year. Look at that. So if you are a new member, you have access to Jets Media emojis. Jermaine Johnson, Aaron Rodgers, Sauce Gardner, Quinnen Williams, Garrett Wilson, Quincy Williams, DJ Reed, CJ Mosley, Brees Hall. Look at all that, baby. Let's go. Shout out to King Lowski, bro. Very generous. Very awesome of you. Shout out to Mel on Twitter. I don't for, I'm not forgetting about you guys on Twitter. Let's go. Richie, I don't know how you feel about Trent Brown, but he only gave up three sacks and had two penalties last year. I mean, bro, I would take any tackle at this point. That's better than what we have. I ain't gonna lie. You can you can convince me on Trent Brown. I think the Bakhtiari signing is inevitable. It is. It feels like it already happened. King Lowski, bro. Where would we be without King Lowski? Shout out to you. Guys, we are so close to breaking a milestone here on the channel. We're at 350 likes. Let's keep it going. Let's get the 400 likes, bro. We're also so close to hitting 22,000 subs. If you want to get 20, if you want to help me out to get the 22,000 subscribers, hit the subscribe button right now because the goal is to get to 22K by the draft. That's a goal that I think we can hit by free agency Zen, but I don't want to go over the top. I don't want to project myself somewhere that I'm not. Boy, it's 12.20, baby, in the morning. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Shout out, T-Pain. Woo! This was not on my agenda tonight, but hey, when it's free agency, you never know what can happen. You never know. JoJo Parker with the $2 super chat. My goat, Richie. JoJo, this is very nice of you, my friend. Thank you so much for the kind words. You're the goat. I'm not a goat. I'm just a Jets fan that loves the Jets just as much. As all you guys. Maybe there's some of you that likes the Jets more than me. Eh, do you think that's possible? I'd say it's an equal playing field. Right? Equal playing field? We could agree with that? Okay, good. <laughs> We're not wrapping up yet, Big Frank. We're going all night. You kidding me, Big Frank? We're going all night. Till the break of dawn, yo. I don't know. It could be a signing coming. You never know. You never know. LaSalle, I sent an email. Can't wait to join y'all. Let's go, LaSalle. My boy LaSalle is coming through to Jets Media Day. Let's go, baby. If you want to get on the priority list for Jets Media Day tickets next year, Send me an email. We already got people already on the list. Shout out. I see the emails coming in. Thank you, guys. There we go, Kyle. Kyle, see, Kyle got the reference. Kyle got the reference. I'm in California, only 930 here. Oh, it must be nice to be at 930. I forget about that. There's people that's it's like 930. What do you mean? It's not the middle of the night for me. Man. I'm playing The Last of Us and listening to this. Let's go. Let's shout out. Ken Dog. Playing some PS5 and listening to Jets Media. Absolutely love it. Let's go. You guys are awesome. So, this was a big day for the Jets. Big day for the Jets. Very big day for the Jets. And the funny thing about this all is we're not done. Do you think they're done? 
but we ain't done, bro. This is just the beginning, actually. How is there over 3,000 people watching? Guys, if you're watching me live on Twitter right now, shout, say what's good in the chat, because according to this, there's 2,600 people watching on Twitter. I'm sorry, but it's hard to wrap my mind around that number. I'm a little skeptical about these Twitter numbers. All of a sudden, I've never got these numbers on Twitter. All of a sudden, I got like, Thousands of people watching on Twitter. If you're watching me on Twitter, give me a holler. I know I, I see some of you guys on Twitter, but give me a holler right now. Say what's good. Austin, I appreciate you, bro. I love you, man. We have multiple people play. Is this the same dude or is this another guy playing Last of Us and listening? Is that the same guy? There we go. We got some Twitter people. Yeah, we here. They're showing up. Maybe there are actually 2,600 people here. Little baby ape is here. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of wild to see that type of number. Do we got like the Last of Us like group here? It... We got a lot of people right now watching me and playing The Last of Us. Brother, we let Bryce Huff go. We need a wide receiver too with that money. Ronaldo, why'd you have to remind me, bro? This was a positive show. You have to remind me we lost Bryce Huff? You just ruined the mood. I'm just kidding. Maybe you did. But you are right. We do got to make some, use that money and utilize it properly. Last of Us is a banger. GTA over here. We got mad people playing some video games. GTA, Rocket League, Madden, The Last of Us. Any 2K people? I mean, bro. We got a lot of people. We are here on Twitter. Let's effing go. You're doing more than Joe Douglas. Thank you, Mo. I appreciate that. No. Joe Douglas, he was sleeping all day, but he woke up. What's your Twitter? Uh, my Twitter, if you just type in Jets Media, I mean, for those that are interested in my Twitter, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Funny story. Not really that funny, but interesting story. For those that don't know, I started on Twitter. Twitter is where everything started. That's where Jets Media originated. It was Twitter before YouTube. I built a Twitter following, and then I'm like, let me make a video on YouTube and tell all my Twitter followers to come watch me. This was like four or five years ago. And here we are. That's my story. <laughs> There's a lot more to the story, but I'm not going to bore you guys with it. Maybe one day when we're not in the heart of the uh, free agency period, I can tell you guys. You should do gameplay videos. I have done gameplay videos before. Like Madden gameplay, but nothing else besides that. Can we sign players at this time? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah, we got uniforms coming, bro. We got Apex Legends. I think I've heard like six video games. I've heard The Last of Us. I've heard Apex Legends. Madden. I heard GTA. And I think I heard 2K. It's five video games. It's crazy. What else is next? Why not on Twitch? You're right. I should be live on Twitch right now. Why not? I should be live on Twitch. Someone's playing COD 3 Zombies, bro? Throwback. So, the Jets made three big moves. Three big moves, baby. I'm excited. I'm excited, bro. We got someone in the chat with, like, a lot of subscribers. If you were at Panthers training camp against the Jets last season, I think I saw you there, man. Keep up the good work. Yeah. It was you. What's up, man? I was at the Panthers training camp last year. You keep up the good work. You got like over, you, you got like 400,000 subscribers, bro. Is your face on it? Do I recognize you? Keep up the good work, man. You got, you're killing it on YouTube. I was at the Panthers training camp last year, so it's cool to see. Did we, did we talk? Did we connect or no? Appreciate you, bro. You keep up the good work. 
Thank you for tuning in, man. It was a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. I was in I was in Carolina last year. I freaking went all the way to South Carolina, Spartanburg. I was in the middle of nowhere for you guys. And the second practice got rained out. It got rained out, bro. Bro, I went all the way to South Carolina for back-to-back -back practices, and the second one got rained out. I was so livid. But I called up my flight. I was like, hey, get me a quick flight. I'm getting the heck out of here. <laughs> oh, man. I keep kicking myself out of my own stream. My apologies for that. Luckily, when I do that, it doesn't end the stream. We got a super chat from Gaia. Thank you so much for the super chat. Tyrod is solid as a Giants watcher. I know he can compete on an above average level. Still, keep in mind, was playing behind Giants' atrocious offense. 100%. Great take. I think that this is a big move because it gives Jets fans a sigh of comfort and a sigh of just like, okay, we can deal. This is a good backup quarterback. We actually have a good option. We actually have a good opportunity here. So I think it's a home run. I think it's home run, man. I think it's an absolute home run. 100%. 110%. I agree. He's more than solid. He's just like reliable. He can win you some games if he has to play. This is good stuff. It's just overall great, great stuff. Thank you, Guy, for the super chat. No more news until tomorrow. Maybe you should get some rest. Who knows? The only negative with, with uh, Tyrod is that he's injury prone. You can argue that. You can argue that. Well, guys, I feel like this is a really good time to let you guys know about a great partner of Jets Media. And I just want to, I just want to be transparent with you guys that the partners of this channel means a lot because... Without these partners, I would not be able to do what I do full-time. So when I do introduce these partners, just have an open mind and an open heart and just know that you guys supporting the brands that support Jets Media allows me to do this full-time. It allows me to continue to give you guys the content that I bring. So I have to give a giant shout-out to Manta Sleep because it's midnight. It's past midnight. And I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I wear this Manta Sleep mask every single night before sleep. Okay, if you guys want to use my code JETS to get 10% off, definitely consider it. Let's hear a quick word from Manta Sleep, and then we're going to get into your guys' thoughts in the chat more in depth about these three signings and everything else that comes with it. So shout out to Manta Sleep. We love you here at Jets Media. We love you here at Jets Media, baby. As you all know, we've had a proud sponsor of Jets Media for quite some time now, and they happen to be Manta Sleep. Now, if you guys want to use my promo code JETS, you will get a 10% discount code. That link is down below in the description. Now, you might be wondering, what is Manta Sleep? If you guys have any struggles with sleeping, I cannot highly recommend more the Manta Sleep Pro Mask. Now, I've been using this since they became sponsors on the channel a months ago, months ago, and I literally wear this exact sleep mask every single night before sleep. Again, guys, this is what you got to invest in if you're having any difficulty with sleep. It is the most advanced sleep mask on the market, and I promise you, you will not regret getting your sleep mask it absolutely takes out the light 100 blackout zero eye pressure technology so when you put it on you can open your eyes but really my favorite part about it is it completely turns out the light so even if you want to put it on for a midday nap or even you don't even want to take a rest you just want to put the sleep mask on even meditate it's a really mindful practice and i cannot recommend them more to you guys they have a lot of different masks on their website this happens to be the pro mask which i personally recommend it's what i use but don't forget use that link down below in the description 10 percent off discount code they have a bluetooth mask if you want to listen to music they got a silk mask they got ones for kids they got a weighted mask they got a cool mask definitely check out their website I cannot recommend them, recommend them more. Thank you, Matt Sleep, for being a proud sponsor of Jets Media. All right, we're back, baby. Shout out to Matt Sleep. 
kidding me? Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I can't see a thing. <laughs> but we got Matt to sleep, though. Shout out to Matt to sleep for, for real, though. Really do appreciate the sponsorship on the channel. Don't forget to click that link at the top of the chat for a 10% discount code, courtesy of your boy here, J-E-T-S. Now, okay, I, I thought to myself, how long can I go with this uh, mask on? And I'm realizing I literally am blind. Like, I, I can't see a thing, but it's so comfortable. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, let's get back into what you guys think about what's cooking for these New York Jets because that was funny. That was a little skit there. Um, now, no wonder why Joe Douglas slept in today. I, I do got to admit, I did send Joe Douglas a sleep mask, so you guys can blame me. You guys can blame me for Joe Douglas sleeping all day. <laughs> oh, you guys are great. You guys are great. Um, now, I think that the next stage of moves for the Jets is definitely a left tackle. And wide receiver. Do not forget. Do not forget about the, the um, safety position, too. Let's go. Let's go. So the AFC's Roundtable will have more merch for us. The AFC's Roundtable has a lot of merch right now. It's still available right now. If you guys want to check it out, you're more than welcome to. We got a lot of graphic tees on there. The, the Aaron Rodgers tees fire. Go to bed, Jets. Continue on Jets tomorrow. Joe's burning midnight oil. Yeah, I mean, I probably should go to sleep. But, like, eh. Should we really go to sleep? Let's get Calvin Ridley a sleep mask. I love it. We should get a Jets theme th sleep mask. I can't answer this because I don't know football without the Jets. There is no team I would root for. I could see myself root for, rather. That's not the Jets. Can any Jets fan answer this question? Because I definitely can't. I can't answer this. Clark starting if he's healthy and Adams free safety. Maybe. This is a good question. <sighs> Starting to kick in. Would you rather sign Bakhtiari or Tyron Smith? It's tough. Maybe Bakhtiari, honestly. I ain't gonna lie. Could be Bakhtiari. Giants fans for sure. Interesting. There's good running back depth out there. How would you guys feel about the Jets bringing a big wide a running back? Because we brought in Dalvin Cook last year and obviously fell on our face. Would Aaron Jones be interested to come to the Jets? Joe Mixon's now all of a sudden available. AJ Dillon. How would you feel? What do you guys want? Is John Simpson good? So, John Simpson played all the snaps at left guard for the Baltimore Ravens last year. He only allowed one sack, but he is a penalty guy. Penalty merchant. Okay. Let's go. I told my wife, Richie on, so in the man cave watching. Fernando, salute. Salute, man. Tell the wife what's good. Hey, Jets Media is live. I got to go in the man cave. <laughs> Can you take a picture, Fernando? I'm curious. I want to see this man cave. Send me a photo. What does the man cave look like with me on, on the screen? I love seeing some Jets man caves. Is Rucker tight end two next year? Great question, Chris. Um, definitely a possibility. As of right now, he is. Yeah, I, I would be. I would be very comfortable with Rucker. I'd be very comfortable with Rucker as our uh, tight end number two. Tomorrow needs to be an overpay for Ridley or a Sutton trade. Then Zeitler. Hmm. Give me Aaron Jones. Jets fans want to go all in. You love it. If 
Five knee operations on the same knee. Pass on Bakhtiari. Now, that is definitely something to keep in mind. Melvin saying that his Jets man cave is sick. i got to see this man cave, Melvin. Show me it. Henry to Baltimore, mixing the Texans, Jones to Raiders, Dobbins or Foreman to Jets. J.K. Dobbins would be a good, but he's way too injury prone, bro. Oh, my God, it's kicking in. What time should we go live tomorrow, guys? Because you know we're going live. Should we actually schedule? I will schedule the show live with you all right now. Should we? Should we schedule the live right now? What time are we going live tomorrow? Ten AM immediately. Two people said ten AM. So I guess that's the time. If it's ten AM, bro, I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> now that's that's not early at all. So we got three votes for ten AM. Noon. Keep in mind, I am going live on my uh, daily show, The Huddle, at 3 p.m. If you guys don't know, but I, if you guys don't know this, I'm live Monday through Friday. I got a new gig, which has been really, like, kind of life changing for my career, by the way, which is a big deal. Um, on BetUS TV, you know, BetUS is the sports book sponsor, but they also have a TV channel, which is basically the YouTube channel. I'm on it every day at 3, 3 p.m. You guys should definitely come check me out. Over there every day. So I'll be live at 3. So what time? 10 a.m., 11, 12, 11, 4, 12. You do not do Facebook, but older social media. That is correct. I do not do Facebook. Um, hmm. I think more like an 11 a.m. feels comfortable. Unless there's breaking news, then I'll be I'll be live right away. That's how I'm going to look at it. Man, we've gained a lot of subscribers on today's show. Guys, hit that sub button if you're new. We want to get to 22,000 subscribers. That is possible. I know it is. You guys can make it happen. Right now, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, baby. 320 people live, watchers, uh, at 1240 in the morning is kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. 11 is good. The witching hour, where wins become wins and losses become losses. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, I got to make a thumbnail for tomorrow. I might get my guy to make it for me. Is he up? Is he up? My my group chat's going off about Tyree, um, about Tyrod. My man Kinsley's in the house. Richie the late night. I like that ring, Chris. Should I should I name it? Richie the late night. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Kinsley. He was at Jets Media Day last year. Great friend of mine from college. My man Chris is in the house. Thank you for watching, bro. Thank you for watching. Say what right, Jose? What did I say wrong? Melvin's going to send me the man cave. My email is this, Melvin. What did I say wrong, Jose? What a crazy day indeed, bro. What a crazy day indeed. All right, you know what, guys? I'm going to schedule the stream for tomorrow at 11, but I can't promise there's a thumbnail made yet. What should I make it? Uh, Jets and NFL free agency frenzy day two. Jets and NFL free agency frenzy day number two, baby. 
Schedule this. Oh, wow. Schedule it for today, technically. Haha. -ha, because it is way past midnight. Cool. Cool beans. Cool beans. Breaking! The Jets signed Richie as a developmental quarterback and professional morale booster. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, I said the red zone things. Where wins become losses and losses become wins. Ah, I said it wrong. I said it wrong. My man Chris, always, always, brother. You deadass got me to love the Jets even more, bro. Lead to a lot more bonding between it for me and Pops. Much love, brother. I love to hear that, Chris. That's awesome. My craziness. I mean, I'm I'm crazy, Chris. I think you've noticed that right now, right? You see me on Instagram. You see me on social media. Like, this dude is out of his mind. But I'm glad I can impact you in a way to be more of a Jets guy. That's awesome. I love that, Chris. But I don't recommend getting as crazy as me because it's not healthy. <laughs> I can speak from experience. I can speak from experience. My man Kingsley from Brockport, baby. Shout out to Brockport, my college buddy. You love it. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm nuts. I, why am I live at 12:45 in the morning? Who knows? I ain't complaining though. We move, baby. We move. All right. I got to I'm going to text my thumbnail guy. See if he's up. Oh my gosh. Any breaking news happening live? That also reminds me, Roundtable Sports is back this week. Oh my God, I have so much work to do this week. It's overwhelming. My gosh, it's overwhelming. But we're not complaining. It's what I signed up for, baby. It's what I signed up for. Roundtable Sports is back this week. Love it. Some people have no idea what I'm talking about. That's okay. Maybe some things don't need to be explained. Just know that your boy is tirelessly, tirelessly working around the clock for you. Oh, my goodness. What a day, baby. What a day. This has been a long day, bro. Your boy Loki needs sleep. But it's all good. It's all good. We don't need sleep. Who needs sleep, bro? I'm going to schedule. Should I, should I do some? Damn, bro. My, my thumbnail guy just sent me some. Guys. What's good, Jets Nation? You know it. Oh, good night, all. This was fun at the end. It was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun with you guys. I know I'm kind of running out of gas. I'm kind of running out of gas. You guys feel that? You guys feel me running out of gas? Is that is that sad? Are you guys upset with me that I'm running out of gas? Please don't, don't, please don't be upset with me, but I am running out of gas. Oh my gosh. The Jets signing three people within a span of a, a, an hour was kind of a lot for me. It's like I was ready all day to go to work and report on this news. And then they're like, the Joe Douglas was like, yep, 
You're going to get three signings in uh, in a span of 40 minutes, and you're going to have to report on all of it at once. Okay. Thanks, Joe Douglas. You're my guy. Thanks, Joe. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Douglas. Appreciate it, bro. Oh, what a day. I might need to go get some sleep. I'll catch you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m., though. Film? I will catch you guys tomorrow, though. You guys hear me on that? Richie, late night. Melvin sent me the man cave pick. I got. I gotta check this out. I gotta check the man cave pick. Oh, look at this, Melvin. Woo! That's fresh, bro. Look at that. That's fresh. That's awesome, Melvin. I love it. Sleep is the cousin of death. I think I need... I need to schedule all the roundtable sh uh, shows this week. We got the AFC South tomorrow night, the NFC West tomorrow night, and then we have the NFC North Wednesday. A lot of exciting things cooking up, folks. A lot of exciting things cooking up. So I'm going to go schedule those streams right now. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for all the support on my channel. Um, I really can't do what I do without you guys. We have so many people watching all the way at almost 1 a.m. So thank you guys. Um, late night show. Maybe I should do these late night shows more often, but I feel like you guys won't be watching And if it's not the heart of the off season, if it's not the heart of free agency, which I totally understand, but it is what it is. Thank you guys so much. I will be live tomorrow morning. I will see you guys then. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's go Jets. Let's freaking go Jets. I don't want to end the show. I feel like I'm going to miss you guys when I'm falling asleep. Later, Lou. Later, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. See you tomorrow night. Thank you so much for all the super chats. Thank you to King Lowski. Thank you to everybody for all the love. Go Jets. Shout out to Phil. Shout out to Till the Wheels Fall Off. That's how I feel right now. Shout out to everybody. VZT. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.